up YouTube that's like a serious aka the German boomer and um this is actually a life story video in case you guys couldn't tell by the title but I just want to give a quick update before this video started just want to let you guys know that I am currently in Germany as of this video going up you can see my suitcase in the background Let's see if I can point at it properly nope Eh, close enough. Anyways, I'm actually leaving in six hours. Um, leaving the house at around three a.m. So I'm not gonna sleep. Pretty much taking this whole time to finish editing and uploading the videos and getting them all scheduled ready for while I'm gone. But um, just want to let you guys know that I will be starting the life story soon again. Uh, there's this one, and I'm also while I'm on my trip to Germany, I think I've got two or three more scheduled to be uploaded. So be sure to look forward to those. Plenty more videos coming especially with Anthony in fact the gameplay that was actually uh the Rainbow Six Siege gameplay in this uh in this video and probably all the Siege gameplay you're gonna see in the videos for I'm gone in Germany are actually from Anthony he's insane at the game he's I consider him a pretty good player and uh, he actually started his own team up so that's been going pretty good for him but um yeah see you guys all in the video Down by What's up, YouTube? Don's Legacy here, aka the German Gamer, bringing you guys a brand new life story video. Now, um, this one is kind of like a continuation of another one I've done, except it happened before it. Um, I'll leave a link down. It was the High End Walgreens video, and I'll leave a link down for that in the description below so you guys can watch that. But this is actually what happened before, you know, my friend and I had one inside the Walgreens and all that. So, we were driving from our neighborhood because we live in the same neighborhood. I was picking him up. He needed a ride down to the taco bar where we work at so i was being the nice guy i am and we're driving down and he's um got some butt on him we both have some butt on both of us not that much but still definitely a decent amount i'd say like five or so grams each i don't know that's just a guess i don't remember how much i had back then either way we ended up getting pulled over on the way there we had been driving and i had been okay i mean i kind of speed i speed just a tiny bit and by a tiny bit i mean i got caught going 80 and a 40 not this time this was actually when i did get a speeding ticket it was i was going 80 and a 40 it was criminal speeding that's a different story though I'm sure look forward to that one later i'll probably end up telling you guys what happened about that a little while later but um this one though i was i want to say 50 55 ish in a 40 okay so that's about 10 over and the cop's on a bike he's a motorcycle cop so we didn't see him or i didn't see him i'm pretty sure my friend saw him but he didn't tell me in time but i didn't see him and i passed it was right before the intersection for the taco bell like i literally pulled over into the parking lot where our taco bell is for the cop to like you know come up and talk to me like that's how close we were we were so close and the cop ended up walking up to my window and we had all this butt on us and we didn't know what to do with it we didn't know if the car smelled we didn't know where to put it because we didn't want to you know try and put it into the seat while he's walking up to the car because then it's like well he just saw us do that through the back window that's how so many people are caught so we're like freaking out and he walks up to the window and i roll my window down and he just looks at me and he's like do you know how stupid you are? And he goes on to lecturing me, and he lectures me for like three, four minutes, and I'm sitting there, I'm nodding my head, I'm agreeing, I'm like, yes sir, yes sir, you know, doing my thing. And he's just like, okay, well, next time if I ever catch you again, you're gonna be getting a ticket, but this time I'm letting you guys go. And we're sitting there, and we've got like about 10 grams or so of butt of just chilling by our feet, just chilling down there, because we just threw it down, didn't know what to do with it. And we're just sitting there, and we're just nodding our heads, and we're like, yes, yes, thank you, thank you, sir. And um, he just walks away back to his bike like nothing happened. He tells us we're all good to go, we're good on our way, and he walks back to his bike, and my friend just yells out the window, you know, thank you, officer, blah, blah, blah. And um, it was the luckiest moment in our lives. Oh, my God, my heart would not stop racing. Uh, it was it was real bad and then that's actually right after that we ended up um uh, right before i dropped him off to work at taco bell i uh we ended up smoking some bowls and pretty sure blunt too somewhere in there before he went in and then you know that's when we went into walgreens and all that and 
that's when that video happened, but, um, definitely, definitely a scary moment, one of the, probably say the scariest time I've been pulled over by a cop, um, I've been pulled over a couple times, now, not driving and having encounters with a cop, that's a different story, but driving and getting pulled over, I'd say this was the scariest moment, um, besides the ticket part, but I didn't really have anything on me when I got that ticket, so it wasn't that bad, but, it was a, it was a definitely a fun time sitting there and <sighs> I'm surprised you didn't smell it honestly because we had so much but I'm just happy you didn't. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, hit that like button, subscribe, you guys all know what to do. This was Don's Legacy Brand and whatever you guys want to call me, hope you guys are having a great day. Peace out.